as part of the Serve Supply Chains project, we were interested in really determining the impact of temperature management on stone fruit quality and particularly during air freight and a sub subsequent cold storage period because we tend to make assumptions about how temperature high temperatures impact stone fruit quality assuming that high temperatures must necessarily reduce uh, fruit quality and increase the rate of fruit softening during subsequent storage and handling. So we went, wanted to test this hypothesis and we did this uh, on two cultivars, Flavor Pearl Nectarine and, and Polar Queen White Peach. And we looked at three different air freight temperatures of eight degrees, which is considered uh, a normal air freight temperature, 12 degrees and 16 degrees over a 24 hour period uh, after these cultivars were handled at these three temperatures to simulate air freight we put them into storage for up to four weeks to see what impact that that the higher air freight temperatures had on subsequent fruit quality after storage and the, the results were really interesting for example with flavor pool nectarine we saw no significant impact on the rate of, of fruit softening during storage. So 24 hours at 16 degrees and 24 hours at eight degrees, uh, which simulated different air freight temperatures had very li little impact on, on flavor, flavor pool nectarine quality, which was a real surprise. On the other hand, Poliquid peach, which we know has a, a, a short storage life, was impacted by higher air freight temperatures. So an air freight temperature of 16 degrees um, ca caused Polar Queen Peach to soften much more rapidly than an air freight temperature of eight degrees during a, a subsequent cool storage period. So again, demonstrating that temperature management is critical, but it's actually more critical for some cultivars than others and robust cultivars such as flavor pearl nectarine can handle can better handle spikes in in temperature along this uh, cold chain 